Hi, my name is Grzegorz Cieśliński. I work in agriculture for more than 40 years, and I will tell you how to increase yield and profitability of your crops. For today, I prepare for you a very exciting topic. I will talk about sex of plants. I think that you will find this also very interesting and exciting. Why it is so important? So we are thinking about yield creation. What is necessary to create, create a yield? So we need flowers, we need pollination process, we need fertilization, so means, means seed creation, which has a direct effect on yield. And yield is the most important task of agriculture production. We would like to have high yield and high quality of yield. And flowering, pollination process and fertilization process, they have a direct effect on yield, yield creation. So someone could ask what factors directly affect the yield of plants? So uh, basically we have two groups of those factors, biotic factors like var variety, specification, impact of pests and diseases, uh, proper plant development and growth, especially flowering, pollination and, uh, and uh, fertilization means seed formation. And a uh, number of abiotic uh, factors such as soil properties and fertility, which is very important, soil management during the uh, uh, crop growing and uh, weather conditions, which are very important, especially during the flower, flowering of, of plants. What is actually pollination process? And what is importance of this process to, to plants or to plant yield? So pollination is a natural process of transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma. And uh, pollination is important because it leads directly leads to production of seeds and fruit, means it directly affects yield. Of course, since this is a natural process, it could be driven by different factors. So what factors directly affect the efficiency of pollination? And do we have any tools, do we have any possibility to support this process or to uh, stimulate this process? Um, well, definitely yes, but pollination effectiveness depends on several factors. First of all, weather conditions. We, we know that the weather is very important. When it's uh, wet and cold, the pollination process is not that efficient. Flower health and condition, important uh, issue. Pollen vigor and germination uh, strength of the uh, pollen also very important issue for the efficiency, final efficiency of pollination process. Activity of pollinating in insects, that is a big problem also in the global scale. And finally, um, availability of nutrients, especially zinc and boron, uh, which are directly responsible for efficiency of that process. I mean the process of, of pollination. I would like to show you something very interesting and very, very exciting. This picture presents the germinating pollen seeds on the stigma and these white tubes, this is the pollen tubes, which finally gives the seeds. So it's, it's very interesting. Pollination process and seed creation process uh, has a very low efficiency. Let's imagine on the stigma, on the top of the flower, on the stigma, we have more or less 500 germinating pollen grains. The ovary is reached only by five or six. So the efficiency of this process is very low. So it means everything which could be done to make this process more efficient is very welcome. And that's why if we ask, okay, it is possible to make this pro process more efficient? Yes, it is. It is possible to make process of pollination much more efficient, which directly leads to better seed formation, means better, better yield. So uh, 
why this process is supposed to be supported. I already said this is a natural process. So that means that not always the natural conditions are very good for proper running of that process. So why we need support pollination? Due to the bad weather conditions during flowering, due to the reduced population of and activity of pollination insects, which is very, very important. Low air temperature, impact of diseases, negative impact of use of plant protection chemicals, and finally, the reduced availability of flowering plants during the entire season. So, as we can see, there's a lot of uh, factors which could really effectively influence the pollination process and finally the seed creation process. If we know that we can support the uh, uh, process efficiently, so what are the ways to support uh, and stimulate the process of pollination and formation of seeds and fruit? How we can do that? Well, the, there are three steps of that process. First is the pollen reception on the stigma. So we can also make this uh, uh, process more efficient. Then the pollen is supposed to germinate to create pollen tubes. So this is the second step. And finally, this, the third step is the uh, formation uh, and growth of pollen tubes. So we have in this whole process of seed formation three different elements, and those three different elements are driven by different factors. So what are the ways to support pollination process? I would like to point three of them. So the, firstly, this is the in, in presence of pollinating insects on the field. The second point is the improvement of nutrients availability to plants before and during flowering, especially zinc, which is responsible for strength of uh, pollen grains, and boron, which is responsible for growth of pollen tubes. And finally, the third one is the plant stimulation with a special biostimulants, which are focused directly on germination of uh, pollination grain and growth of uh, pollen tubes, which leads to uh, seed creation. Uh, I would recommend uh, to you use one of the source of zinc, which is Amino Ultra Zinc, uh, um, innovative product based on amino acids. Biostimulation is a kind of additional action which make plant nutrition even more efficient. What can we recommend uh, for plant stimulation to improve pollination process? Although we have a lot of different uh, stimulators on the market, I would like to bring your attention to the special one, to a very unique product, which is titanite from Intermag. This is a direct way to high yield. Why is so uh, interesting? Why is so effective? Because it gives us a possibility to improve a pollination process. It directly enhances the photosynthesis process and also it uh, affects the increasing of nutrients uptake by, by plants. But today we are uh, mostly concentrated on this first point, means, means improvement of pollination process. Uh, titanium, titanium is a very unique product because it contains a very unique patented molecule called atium. Atium gives us a fast uptake and high availability of titanium to plants. It's safe application for plants and environment and also it is uh, excellent, co compatible with the majority of agrochemicals uh, available on the market. Let's see what is the way of titanic action to improve pollination process. What is the mode of action? So basically, uh, we can highlight uh, four different steps of that uh, action. The first one is a better pollen adhesion to stigma and pollen germination on, on the stigma. So, as a result of that, we can obtain higher number of pollen tubes growing through the pistil uh, down to the, to the ovary. The third step is the uh, more effective fertilization and seed formation. So we have more seeds inside the ovary, which is already uh, a very good effect when we are thinking about the uh, yield. Uh, and finally, if we are talking about fruit crops, we have a better 
uh, fruit development. Uh, so what can we expect after titanium application? I would like to show you some results of uh, tests and experiments um, which were run in different uh, locations, different countries. So first of all, titanium application significantly increases number of pollen seeds on stigma surface. So, which has a direct effect on weight of apples in this case, means it gives us a better yield. Uh, if we look at the results of uh, another species, this is the, the vineyard. What I would like to highlight in this, in, in this graph is, is that uh, the fact that we achieved very significant increase of yield every year, every season. So this is not titan, it is not just one season star. We can really uh, increase the mm, yield of plants every year. I just presented some results related to fruit crops, but I would like to highlight that titanite is a very universal product. It could be applied to any kind of crops. And as you see, it is successfully applied to arable crops, to fruit crops, vegetable crops, with the uh, very spectro spectacular effect. We managed to increase yield of crops. For example, in case of blueberry, almost by 30%. So you can see, if you look at this graph, you can see how efficient is uh, mm, titanite, regardless of crop, regardless of location. It is very important. It is a universal product which could be used for any kind of crops in any country. So titanite is well known all over the world. It is used on more than one million hectares on farms in different countries. Uh, so if you are looking for a tool to increase yield, yield quality and quantity, titanite is a good choice. It's a way to high yield. But Please do not forget about boron. Boron is the next step for efficiency of seed formation process. Why? Because when we have already a good job done by titanite, we need boron to support growth of pollen tubes to have finally a high number of seeds formated, which gives us a good high yield.